Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 242. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance credit examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Rithrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. In which year Committee on Financial Sector Assessment or CFSA was set up by the Government of India and the Reserve Bank? Correct answer is 2006. This committee formed four independent advisory panels consisting of non-official experts to assist in this process and ensure an impartial analysis and assessment. The assessment reports of the adversary panels were then peer-reviewed by reputed international experts whose knowledge and judgment provide further enhancement of the impartiality of the self-assessment. Who among the following was the chairman of the Committee on Financial Sector Assessment? Correct answer is Dr. Rakesh Mohan. Dr. Rakesh Mohan is an Indian economist and the former deputy governor of the RBI. He is the vice chairperson of Indian Institute for Human Settlements. He was appointed in November 2012 as an executive director of the International Monetary Fund for a three-year term. And in April 2010, he joined Nestle India as a non-executive director. At which of the following places, First Land Development Bank was established in India? Correct answer is Punjab. The first land development bank was started at Jhang in Punjab in 1920. They were called land mortgage banks at that time. Where are the headquarters of National Housing Bank? Correct answer is New Delhi. National Housing Bank is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Reserve Bank of India and was set up on 9 July 1988 under the National Housing Bank Act 1987. It is an apex financial institution for housing. In which year was UTI split into UTI 1 and UTI 2? Correct answer is 2003. UTI Mutual Fund was carved out of the erstwhile Unit Trust of India as a SEBI registered mutual fund from February 1, 2003. The Unit Trust of India Act 1963 was repealed, paving way for the bifurcation of UTI into specified undertaking of Unit Trust of India or SWTI and UTI Mutual Fund or UTI MF. Which of the following institutions had its previous name as Export Risk Insurance Corporation? Correct answer is Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India. The ECGC Limited, which was formerly Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India, is a company wholly owned by the Government of India based in Mumbai, Maharashtra. It provides export credit insurances and support to Indian exporters and is controlled by the Ministry of Commerce. Government of India had initially set up Export Risk Insurance Corporation in July 1957. It was transformed into Export Credit and Guarantee Corporation Limited in 1964 and finally to Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India in 1983. The Nidhis are type of non-banking finance companies where a borrower would have to become a member first. In which state Nidhis are peculiar in India? Correct answer is Tamil Nadu. A Nidhi company is one that belongs to the non-banking finance sector in India and is recognized under the Section 406 of Companies Act 2013. Their core business is borrowing and lending money between their members. They are also known as Permanent Fund, Benefit Funds, Mutual Benefit Funds and Mutual Benefit Company. Which of the following organizations provides buffer stock financing facility? Correct answer is International Monetary Fund. It was established in 1969 to provide financial assistance to members with a temporary balance of payments need arising from contributions to buffer stocks established under approved international commodity agreements. Where are the headquarters of Asian Clearing Union? Correct answer is Tehran. The Asian Clearing Union with headquarters in Tehran, Iran was established on December 9, 1974 at the initiative of the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific or ESCAP. Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific or UNESCAP or ESCAP is located in Bangkok in a regional arm of which of the following? Correct answer is United Nations. So, uh, this particular body is one of the five regional commissions under the jurisdiction of United Nations Economic and Social Council. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.